Okay, range is clear, sky is clear. Going in three, two, one. And shoot release worked. Oh, hard landing. All right, you're here because you're probably a Dur Red Max fan and you bought one of these off Amazon on their fire sale. Um, so this is gonna be super fast video on how I would build the Dur Big Red Max, which is going to be this guy's bigger brother. Um, step one, open the box. Step two. Perfect. Step three, go get yourself one of these uh, plywood upgrade kits. Launch Lab has them. Um, this is like the original Vanderburn version. A um, bunch of other people also do them. Um, the bolts is probably fine, but I want to put some punchy motors in this because why not? Um, if it's going to be the big brother, it might as well be faster too. So Nice. Nice. Really nice. So side by side gonna be cool. All right, let's get a little organized here. We're gonna set our plywood parts off to the side. These directions, we're just gonna throw these away. Plywood or <laughs> balsa wood fins, we're gonna throw those in the same filing cabinet we put the directions with. Same for these cardboard centering rings. The only thing we're gonna save out of this bag, honestly, is uh, the decals. Um, these launch lugs, we're actually not even going to use those. And this parachute. We will use this engine retainer and this clay. So I'll keep that out. Keep your motor mount out. Take a sip. Let's start with uh, this body tube. What you're going to do is see these spirals? You're going to press wood filler in to all of them. Get yourself your favorite uh, cyanocrylite super glue, something real runny, and uh, go ahead and harden up the edges of this tube because you're going to be beating these things up constantly. What you do is grab yourself a paper towel. If you work quickly enough, it'll burn your fingers and stick to them, but won't stick to the tube. So now you can see we're going to have a nice hardened edge around in there. Some people do that a couple times. Well, that's drying. Let's talk about this nose cone. You're going to want to sand off the parting seam here when they blow mold that. Um, and also, a lot of controversy about this slope right here. Um, some people claim that if you have a weak ejection charge, the nose will only go halfway out and then it'll all vent this way and no alarm dart. So we're going to go ahead and just whack this off and put a, a basswood bulkhead in there. Um, we'll see how much weight that gains us, but I think it's worth the peace of mind, especially since we're going to make this a pretty rocket. Might as well save it. Much low power, mid power. So even though it's an open eye bolt, it's going to be fine. We're going to epoxy everything together anyways. Basically squeeze your nose cone a little. That goes in. And what you're looking for is a nice tight fit against the shoulder because you're not going to be able to get the epoxy to properly ball onto this material. So it's going to look something like that. Um, before you glue this in, you're going to want to add your nose weight. The color we cut off was 7.3 grams. And this was 6.4. So it was about a 1 gram savings. So you're going to attempt to do some type of sanding in here. Well, you know, I started opening up the clay 
and rolling it into balls. And then I realized that's 28.8 ounces of clay. Um, I would trust epoxy a lot more to stick to the inside of that um, under some extreme acceleration. So I just mixed up 28.8 ounces of epoxy. And that is how we're going to do nose weight in here. All right, let's get this bulkhead in and get to bed. So I've got some thickened epoxy here. Just going to smear it on the back side of the threads of the side bolt along the shoulder. thick bead of epoxy around in there some insurance we'll just string this up over here to cure overnight there you have it My first time using a 24 millimeter composite motor. Uh, so we're going to adapt it up to 29. Put her in the old Der Red Max, Der Mega Red Max, Der, Der Big Red Max. And then uh, see if she works. Also get to test out the new <laughs> high power launch pad, which weighs 34 pounds. So it might be a little overkill for this two pound rocket. So first composite motor on an Estes launch box. Let's see if this works. One, three, two, one. Arcing over. We have deployment. Shoot is not out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 